Reverse engineer your passive income plan, then execute. It actually is that simple. Now you might be saying, what is a passive income plan? If you work for somebody else, that's called linear income. Linear income means you work for X amount of hours and you get X amount of pay. Simple as that. You trade your time for dollars. Passive income is income that comes in month after month after month for something that you typically do one time. So in my world, it's real estate investing. If you were to buy a piece of real estate and we can learn how to buy real estate in other segments that we have, but you buy a piece of real estate and then you rent that out to a, to a tenant. That tenant pays rent month after month. Do you have to live in the same state as the person to do that? Nope. Do you ever have to meet your tenants? No. We encourage you as a property management company to, to manage your properties. But that money comes in month after month after month. If you have a mortgage in that property, eventually that mortgage will get paid off and then it's a big chunk of passive income, maybe $800 or $1,000 a month or more per house that you own that comes in month after month after month for you to do whatever you want to do with it. So reverse engineer that plan for yourself and say to yourself, how much do I want to make in a passive income? When I retire, how much do I want to have coming in month after month after month? And then reverse engineer it. If you know you want to retire and make $10,000 a month in income from your rentals, just understand that every house that you rent out might be $1,000 a month net profit to you. Just keep the math easy on that. You could buy multi-unit apartment complexes that might pay you six or $700 a month positive cash flow per apartment. Whatever it might be for you, break it down and say, as I buy these pieces of property, even if they're not paid off, even if I finance it with, a, with private investors or with a bank, how much would my positive cash flow be per unit? And if you say, I wanna make $1,000 a unit, well, guess what? You only have to have 10 units and you'll now have an income of $10,000 per month in a passive residual income. That means no matter what you're doing, no matter where you live, no matter how you live, unless you live way beyond your means, it doesn't matter, but you're still gonna have money that comes in month after month after month from something you did one time. So I encourage you to decide how much you wanna have in a passive residual income that comes in month after month after month, long after you're done working, and then reverse engineer it and go out and buy that many properties. Make your plan and stick to it. You'll be glad you did.